Pretty mate. Uh, just a talky head video. A bit of news going on. Uh, I'm going to knock this out really quickly. Ladies. Because... Uh, uh, me voice is all shot to shit. And, and just, yeah, I need to do this one take. Right, anyway, mate, if your business is currently on Vault Workgroup, that's the middle tier of Vault, so you've got basic workgroup professional, and now might be a good time to begin your search and your hunt for the hallowed entity known for being rarer than unicorn feces. Uh, they call them Vault Consultants. Hi. Uh, because Autodesk had just done cancelled Vault Workgroup, meaning that if you're going to be... Well, it means you're going to have to migrate off of it, mate. And you've got absolutely no choice in the matter. Uh, now, as this friggin' awful graphic shows, which looks like it was done in either Microsoft Paint or Camtasia back before Autodesk actually had decent strict branding standards, Vault Workgroup, it was one of the, the two middle tier Vault versions that they introduced around 2009 during a big shuffle back when Vault Professional used to be called Vault Manufacturing. And then the other middle tier that they brought in at the time was called Vault Collaboration. It shudders hearing that name. But ultimately, Autodesk being Autodesk, right? Huffle, huffle, shuffle, shuffle, and Bob's your uncle. Within two or three years of that big shuffle, they shuffled it again, and they ditched the complete failure that was Vault Collaboration, and I don't think anyone cared, because that only basically existed to enable multi-site replication. So they just thought, ah, screw this, we'll move all that stuff into Vault Manufacturing, and then we'll rename Vault Manufacturing to Vault Professional, just to screw up with all the internet search results and all that kind of stuff. And then since then, they've offered Vault Basic, which isn't free, it's the one that's bundled in with your CAD licenses that you've already paid for. Then there's Vault Workgroup, which is the middle tiers, is the one they're bidding now, and then there's Vault Professional. And that's how it's been for around 10 years now. So they've, been, they've done well to not dick about that with that for like 10 years. But anyway, Autodesk being Autodesk, they've decided to hack things up again. And from July 6th, 2022, Vault Workgroup is done. July 6th, 2022. Now to be clear, it's never that simple because there's people using it, they can't just shut it down. So it just means from July 6, 2022, they're not gonna be selling any more new licenses. You can't subscribe to a new license of Vault Workgroup. If you've already bought an annual subscription to Workgroup and you've got an existing installation of it, you've probably got some questions, right? Vault Workgroup 2023 is going to be the last version that they're gonna release. There's gonna be no Vault Workgroup 2024. Absolutely nobody should be buying any new Vault Workgroup licenses at this point either. Unless you're on an existing big account and you need to, and you've just employed somebody, you need to give them a license. Get one bought before July 6th, 2022. After that, you won't be able to, because that's the last day you can buy one, period. And it's only three weeks from now. If you've already got Workgroup and you're thinking, well, ah, oh, well, shit, what we're going to do? Like, our renewal's in sep say, say your Workgroup renewal is in September 2022, right? That's that's only like two or three months after the cutoff date. Don't worry too much because you've got until July 6th, 2023 to figure out what it is you're gonna do. Because if your, con well, your contract will renew, so all contracts that are gonna renew on Workgroup between July 6th, 2022 and July 6th, 2023, you can still renew them for one more year at Workgroup level if you want, right? Uh, and if you're a big dick account and you renew for three years at a time, the last day you can place a three-year order, which just, just don't, but you, you could do, is July 6, 2022. After three weeks' time, you can't place any three-year bulk orders for Vault Workgroup. So what happens next then? Well, Workgroup, it's, it's being shut down, mate. There's nothing you can do about it. And you could say, and people will say, in, in bulk, uh, this is the negative arguments against the subscription model becoming a reality. Because if you decide, no, nah, nah, fuck, nah, fuck you, what? Nah, nah, I'm, I want to keep my work group. Well, you can't. <laughs> you can't. You can't. You, you can renew in September 2022. Sure, right? That'll take your subscription over for another year. You'll be able to log into your vault for another year until September 2023. That's when you would have renewed again. Except this time. Autodesk are going to say, eh, negative Ghost Rider, we don't sell or renew Vault Workgroup anymore. To which you'll flip in the birdie and say, eh, give me my Vault Workgroup. To which Autodesk is going to say, no, it's going to backfire on you and your software is just going to start working. But more on that later because, eh, right, there's been plenty of time that's happened in between then. But anyway, for everyone else, just giving it to the corporate overlords, this is what's going to happen. From July 6th, 2022, regardless of how long's left on your contract, Every single Vault Workgroup subscription owner was, and when I say owner, this is the person who's the named account.
account manager on the contract. So if you've got 100 licenses, there's usually one person who's the account manager. That's the person who creates new users, the person who deals with the reseller, right? That person will receive a Vault Professional entitlement in their account. And that will happen on July 7th, 2022. Even if you're still subbed to Vault Workgroup, you haven't changed a thing, you're still paying for Vault Workgroup, the account manager is gonna get a license of Vault Professional. So if your Workgroup subscription is due for renewal in let's say December, 2022, for example, that's gonna give the account manager six months to test out Vault Professional in a test environment before deciding what they're gonna do in December, 2022, when the workgroup subscription is up for renewal. They've had six months to test the environment and decide whether they're gonna renew workgroup for another year, keep the live environment at workgroup for another year, or migrate everyone on a Vault Pro in December, 2022. So what would the options be in December 2022 if that's when you renew it as well? You can either renew Workgroup, like I said, for that one final year and just carry on testing Vault Pro. It probably need to be a pretty big site if you need another year of testing. Or basically, in December 2022, you would have to switch all your, all your Workgroup subscriptions over to Vault Professional subscriptions and start paying Vault Pro pricing from December 2022. So this, as far as I know, there's gonna be no special M2P, right? Or move to pro pricing promotions, right? This is gonna cost you. And that's where this really sucks. And I, I think it's like how I said in a previous video, I think Autodesk are kind of done with having millions of convoluted, confusing, scattered pricing promotions all across their customer base. So they're just not creating a new one. But then again, stop fucking about with your product so much, right? Just a thought. Anyway, what they have said though, is that anyone on Workgroup who took advantage of the two for one network trade-in, so you traded in one network license and you got two named user licenses, those customers will be able to take advantage of the same pricing deal that the pro customers got at the time that that was done. And although there's no specific mention of this, I'd like to really hope that Autodesk have taken into account the pricing and move to subscription as well, because it's not mentioned. Because although, right, relatively speaking, and I mean relative to Autodesk's other products, Vault isn't actually that expensive. However, Vault Pro is comparatively, considerably more expensive than Vault Workgroup. You're basically being forced up onto a license which is nearly twice as expensive. Or you can get the hell out of there. So what do you do now? What you do now? What's the next steps if you're on Workgroup right now? Well, it's like I said at the start, mate, get Pally with a friendly, well-experienced Vault consultant and begin planning your exit route. Every company's gonna every company's gonna be different. Some companies are gonna have an easy route, right? It's just they're gonna be able to migrate with no bother, no fuss. It'll be pretty simple. Some companies are gonna need a huge planned and sprinted approach if they're big enough. But either way, start thinking about it right now. And if I'm reading the documentation right, mate, which is difficult because I think it's intentionally confusing and vague. Either that or I'm still exceptionally jet lagged from a week in Texas, which is very likely. But by all accounts, it sounds like after July 6th, 2022, the person in the business, I've mentioned this earlier, right? The person in the business who's named as a subscription account manager, that's the person that's gonna get access to Vault Pro. So if you've got 100 licenses, that one person's gonna have a login for Vault Pro to facilitate getting test environment set up on July 7th, 2022. Then, when your renewal is due, say December 2022, you can actually still, this is what the documentation implies, you can still renew at work group level in December 2022, but all 100 licenses on your account will then get the entitlement to Vault Pro, even though you're st you've just renewed at Vault Work Group. And I think this is to help facilitate with the actual migration for realsies. It's to, you haven't paid for Pro yet, you're still in Work Group, everyone's migrated to pro all users have got a pro login and you've got that extra year to get the migration done after a bit of time of testing it that's my understanding of it alternatively if you're of the now nah, book off autodesk I'm, I'm i'm not going to be looped up and penetrated in this fashion persuasion well then you've got until december 2022 to decide what to do mate you can either keep everything as is and pay for another year of work group which will take you over to 2023 by which point you're best have pulled all your data out of the vault, got a local copy of everything, because once you stick it to the man and stop paying, he's gonna stick it right back to you. And basically, this is where the sympathy's gonna be limited, 
because yes, it's the downsides of the subscription model, but everyone did have like a fair amount of time to prep for this, right? If your subscription was for renew in December 2022, that's six months from now to get your data out of the vault. Everyone knew it was coming. Hopefully everyone was well informed of this at least. If you renewed for another year, that's a year and a half to pull your data out of the vault before it was ultimately shut down. So nobody can really say that they're stopping you from accessing your data. There's plenty of time to pull it out if that's what you decided you wanted to do. But it's still not ideal. It fucking sucks. It sucks that they're forcing people onto a more expensive license, but there's plenty of time to get the hell out of there and take your data with you if that's what you want to do. So this video's gone on for long enough. I think that's enough. Uh, I'm gonna probably explain, I might do the differences between Workgroup and Pro in a separate video. Hot take incoming though. I actually think this is the right thing to do. I, I think I alluded to it earlier on because uh, it, it's, it's taken them 10 years to get back to the point where they actually were in the right place originally, which is 10 years ago, they had Vault, which was Vault Basic, and they had Product Stream, which is what Vault Professional used to be. And then they just added tons of stuff into the mix and confused everything up. It's taken 10 years to get back to that. But for me, honestly, I'm friggin' sick of the whole, of, of their product bloat. And Work Group, alongside the now gone Vault Collaboration, they were just unnecessary, confusing complications, which made life more difficult for us when we were in the reseller channel. And I've no doubt the actual product teams themselves are sick of having to support and maintain this black sheep known as Vault Worker. Now, to be clear, right? I call it a black sheep, but in reality, there will be tons of companies on Vault Work Group. I call it a black sheep because frankly speaking, in my opinion, it should never existed. It was, the, the idea of having Vault Work Group was righteous, but the execution was poor. They wanted to fill a gap in the market and offer entry level or basic mid-tier work group and collaboration and professional level data management. <laughs> Give people the option of a halfway house if for professional sounded too much or too complicated, but the end result of having more, what it resulted in is too many product pages online, too many product names to make sense of that people had to sift through and try and figure out, more products internally for Autodesk to support, more service packs to push out, more updates to support migration paths to consider. You can go up, you can't go down, you can't go here, you can jump around here. The different client versions, that is, the client versions can't support different clients. You can't have one guy in work group, one guy in professional. You can't have data management server on vault work group and a client on professional. It was an absolute royal mess, which I'm honestly glad to see the back of. And if there's actually, st if there is still a demand for mid-tier data management, if that actually exists, then maybe Autodesk should look to what Fusion 360 is doing with the likes of paid extensions and add those paid extensions on top of Vault Basic. Give Vault Basic out and then have like a, I don't know, a, a, a life cycle extension, an ECO extension, an items extension, a replication extension, I don't know, figure it out, right? <laughs> it's not, that's a you problem. Anyway, that's enough about this. Uh, that'll do. If you need a Vault consultant, they are hard to come by. Uh, I am one, kind of making videos at the moment, though. Uh, but Dan, drop me an email if, if you're in urgent need of, of an upgrade. Uh, emails on the about page, it's the business inquiries email address. If I don't reply, don't be offended. It's just I can't strike up a conversation with absolutely everyone. But uh, yeah, that'll do. And also, you can speak to your local reseller as well. If you're already in, uh, if you're already hooked up with a reseller, speak to those guys as well. But either way, if you're on work group, you best start planning an exit route pretty quickly. You don't have much choice in the matter. Right, that'll do for this one. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Neil, Neil Cross. This has been Tech 3D. That'll do for this one. I'm going to go because my voice is about to be destroyed. Doodles. Doodles.